I think they're trying to set a precedent. They have to lay down the law because a lot of cyclists drive too fast. And, you know, I'm around with my kids and they got to respect the laws too. I mean, obviously that goes both ways with the drivers too. They got to respect the cyclists. So it's both sides to it. So I agree that they got to, they're trying to, you know, make a point. I'm a guide and with my group, we always stop and we make our signs and so we behave. So uh, actually tourists say that uh, uh, cars and, and uh, pedestrians are very polite for the cyclists here in Montreal. Myself, I never had a ticket, so I don't think, I don't see them. I mean, maybe more on the plateau, more downtown. Right, so you're either a vehicle or you're not a vehicle. If you're once you're a vehicle, then you should apply, you know, have all the laws, rules applied to you. I didn't really agree with what uh, Suzanne LaRose said recently. She said that she wanted to have it arranged that we just slow down at stop signs because she said it's hard to start again. Well, to me, the fact that it's hard to start again is not a reason. The reason to stop at a stop sign is for safety, so I, I didn't really agree with that part of it. There's actually like a groups that tells you where there's certain cyclists uh, that get arrested. Um, so there's certain intersections that you know you need to make the stop. Uh, Laurier and Clark is one of them, and you basically have to always make that stop. But otherwise, like I find it's kind of silly because if you look at how they do in Portland, Oregon, they have these kind of stop and roll. And it makes a lot more sense because if you look at the pace of a car versus a cyclist, we should be thinking about this. And it's quite surprising actually because of uh, the mares that we have, who is actually a big cyclist. So I hope that maybe it changes. I think they've found a good compromise here in Montreal by allow us, allowing the bikers now to cross on the crosswalks when there is a, a walking signal, for example. I have been stopped. I've been warned by the police once, uh, and they were absolutely correct in, in, in stopping me. And one of the things that the policeman said, is says, you know, at the very least, you have to show us respect. If you're not going to slow down, if you're just going to run through a light, you know, that's not I happen to have slowed down at that point. Uh, but he wanted to make that extra message and it was well received. I respected it, uh, that completely.